So we had our course presentation last week where we presented uh, to the faculty about what we've done so far and what our plans are for going forward in the future. And uh, we got a lot of really good feedback. Uh, some of it was stuff that we had already known, um, and some of it was just things that we hadn't even considered. Um, so the issue of parallax and the video where we're using uh, 3D footage that's projected against a sphere so it's flat and 3D objects so when uh, the guest moves their head around they get to see uh, objects moving. Um, another thing is that uh, lighting in the car is not something that we had uh, really considered that heavily. So on the projection side, really trying to do multiple tests with our new cameras and figure out what works for that, what makes it the, the actors be able to be seen and make it still believable lighting and a lot of the tech scaffolding is there. A lot of our uh, code is, our, is just ready to go. We have a lot of uh, baseline things that we're building off of and most of that's in place. So we can basically add all these pieces to whatever film assets we get and have a, a working prototype fairly quickly. Uh, we don't have too much time and we've known that for a while and so we've just had to step up our game every time we needed to come up with something really fast and we've been able to do that so far so right now uh, we're going to be working on the script we're going to be developing the script further so that we can work on the interactions more and uh, to that effect we're going to uh, come up with a new prototype which should be ready by Wednesday um, so we're working on something uh, where we test whether just the hand, steering with the hand is okay or just using head tracking um, is better than even having the hand in there. Mostly throughout the quarters we got really good feedbacks and because I'm an artist in art perspective we got a lot of like concerns about like matching the CG object in the real of live action filmed footage and also because we're putting the CG object inside the 360 video uh, there were a lot of concerns of like distortion and the difference with the perspective but after we got a 4k footage with using Kodak SP360 uh, actually the inside the car there wasn't that much distortion so I think for now there's not much problem with the distortion this week, really intense focus on story. That's gonna be, that's the biggest part of the, pro well there's a lot of big parts, but this is the biggest in regards to the feeling and what we want to convey, what we want people to, to experience in, uh, um, with what we're making. And uh, so we've met with our faculty advisors over this and, and uh, several instructors about the story and I think we got something very special, really amazing and we're, uh, we're, we're, we're putting it together. Um, and the state of the story right now is yes. that we started to figure out the big things. We started to figure out what is the seed, what is the main sort of thing that's driving the story forward. We started to understand as a team and started locking on certain things as well regarding the story, which is where is this experience going, who's the character inside it. Uh, we'll be doing some really cool things in the coming week. We'll be doing improv with an actor from the School of Drama uh, and basically giving them some directions and understanding how they would react in that experience. And hopefully using that data and putting it in our script for a more meaningful, more realistic, more immersive script. There's a lot of considerations and then us keep asking why behind each decision and the big story setting and and uh, he she also suggested us to do improv, try to try to write story with the uh, interaction interacting with the real human. That's a pretty good idea. So I mean I believe our team can combine a good compelling story and a good interaction mechanism, and awesome art, visual art together and and out to be a really, really amazing and great project ever needed. <laughs> cool. Uh huh.